Welcome to the Slow Home Studio. Let's take a closer look at light switches. I've got to say, one of the sexier topics in the world of architectural design. I think it's really important, though, because light switch placement can really impact the visuals of a room. And oftentimes, light switches are haphazardly placed, as we know, by the electrician. And a lot of times, they conflict with artwork. And the reason is, is because standard height in North America for the top of a light switch is 48 inches. And in our projects at House Brand, we always recommend that the light switches are installed at 32 inches above the floor. Exactly. And that is a little odd the first time you see it and it can be difficult to convince the electrician that that's really what you want but it makes a big difference. It really does because here's an example when it's at 48 inches high the artwork is really close if you're going to place it to the top of the switch and there's a bit of visual conflict between Well you the two. always see that light switch up in your visual field. Yep. Yep, and so by lowering it down to 32 inches, it's actually below the line of a counter. It's a little bit more subtle in the room. It allows artwork placement to be a bit easier. And in this example, this is a view of the same kitchen from the other way. You can't even see the light switch. There's no conflict between the two things. So the second thing that you need to consider when you're thinking about light switches is whenever possible, gang them together. Rather than having a whole series of individual switches on different walls, try and put them all together so that you have a kind of center in which you can uh, adjust all of the lights that you need. Yeah, it's brilliant because basically what you're creating is a control point where you can walk into a room and from one location you can control the lights in all different directions. I think it's a, a really smart idea because you can set all your lighting at once rather than walking through the space and adjusting it. And it maintains, it, can, it, it aggregates all of those little bits of visual clutter together into one spot. Yeah, because let's face it, light switches are not particularly attractive on the wall. Here we've got an example where it's both a gang together plus the artwork is adjacent and you can see it's, it's very clean good tip. See you next time. See you next time. If you're in the Calgary area or planning to visit, we encourage you to register for one of our Fall 2011 Live Slow Home Studio courses. The courses are design based and they're available to anybody. No experience is necessary. Kitchen Design Workshop 1 will be offered Saturday, September 17th from 9.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. House Design for Empty Nesters, featuring design tips on how to downsize, will be offered Saturday, September 24th from 11 a.m. until 12.15 p.m. Just How Green Is This House? Seminar on Practical Sustainability will be offered Saturday, September 24th from 1 p.m. until 2.15 p.m. And Green Design Workshop 1, featuring design tips for passive solar design, will be offered Saturday, October 1st from 9.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. You can register online at slowhomestudio.com or you can phone and register at 403-229-4330. Welcome to the second course in our Slow Home Fundamentals series. In this two-part online course, we're going to show you how to apply the Slow Home philosophy in the real world in order to start making smarter, more sustainable choices about where and how you live. Thank you.